Hi everyone, it's me, Nolan Lincoln, with another episode of Knowledge with Nolan. And I'm here to talk to you about rocks and minerals. Did you know that there are over 5,000 different types of minerals? A mineral is an inorganic compound. So a compound is two things put together, right? So a mineral is an inorganic compound that occurs naturally. So gold, diamonds, and fluorite, so you have a fluorite rock right here, they are all minerals. Rocks are a combination of different minerals. So there are three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. From igneous to sedimentary to metamorphic to igneous again, this is called the rock cycle. And the rock cycle doesn't go in a straight line. It goes around and round in a loop. And that's why it's called the rock cycle. Rocks start out as magma under the Earth's surface. Magma is molten rock under the Earth's crust. So you're basically standing right on magma right now. And when that magma comes out, we know it as lava and Whoa, a volcano just exploded. And then that lava cools down and it becomes igneous rock, which is how the rock cycle starts out. Igneous rocks are the most common rocks. There are a bunch of different types of igneous rock, but those types are made by two different factors. Number one is the minerals inside the magma, and number two is the speed that the magma cools at. The next part of the rock cycle is sedimentary rock. This sedimentary rock is an example that I got from my backyard. And the sedimentary rock is basically tiny little parts left over from the igneous rock that get squeezed together over time that makes the sedimentary rock. Sedimentary is really cool because it kind of looks like it's striped and it looks just like a nice little natural pattern. And that's my favorite part about these amazing rocks. The next part of the rock cycle is metamorphic rocks. And metamorphic means change. And those metamorphic rocks are made by tectonic plates moving and crashing into each other which changes the existing rock, the existing sedimentary rock, into a new type of rock, which is the metamorphic rock. So just for example, let's take my two sedimentary rocks here, and when that creates heat and pressure, which makes the metamorphic rock. And that's what's, what changes from sedimentary to metamorphic. Two types of metamorphic rock is marble and slate. So those are just two examples of the bunch of kinds of metamorphic rock. So when metamorphic rock gets melted, it becomes the magma. And guess what happens to that magma? It cools after it becomes lava and comes out of the volcano, and then it cools and guess what happens? It becomes igneous rock again! So you can't destroy rocks no matter how hard you try. All you can do is change them. Rocks come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Rocks are really beautiful. I hope you think this episode rocked! Get it? Thanks for watching and see you guys next time in another episode of Knowledge with Thorn. Bye!